Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my October 2019 update video, part two, coming up. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome once again to my October 2019 update video, part two. So yeah. As we always do with these monthly update videos, we're gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So, as always, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the fact that my faithful companion of four plus years, good old Chillbox, has been taken offline. If you guys saw on my Instagram, Instagram.com slash the Andy Son, you'll have seen that um, yesterday, at the time it's recording, I formatted the hard drives on the old chill box so she is no more. So F in the chat for good old chill box. I didn't think I would get so emotional over formatting the hard drives for a computer. And I know at the end of the day it's just like wires and circuits and stuff like that, but uh, the old chill box has really meant a lot to me. And it was thanks to the chill box I was able to get into freelance video editing and be able to push out content and stuff like that for my clients as well as for myself, for a production company in Ohio. Yeah, couldn't have done it without uh, the old chill box. And I remember first building the chill box back when I was still stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan. Um, before then, I'd never built a computer from scratch before. Uh, the only thing I did that even was close to that was like upgrading my old Dell Dimension desktop PC from like 2004. So it's a little out of practice as far as that stuff goes. But uh, thanks to some tutorials and talking with my friends online, I was able to get the old chill box up and running. And she's been just a complete workhorse for me these past four plus years. And I couldn't have done what I did without her. So F in the chat for the old chill box. Where she goes from here, I'm basically gonna be parting her out, you know, selling the individual parts on eBay. And the money from that is gonna go towards my Japan fund. Even though I got a decent amount from my retirement fund and all that, I did have to use a lot of it for essential gear like camera laptop, cell phone, and I also had to dip into it a little bit for some uh, living expenses. Freelancing has been a little scarce these past couple months. Kinda is what it is, you know, people go on breaks and stuff like that, and you know, I was busy with school. Now that we're getting ourselves back on track, I'm gonna be, you know, selling all of my stuff, pretty much, and putting it on eBay, and using that money to put back into the Japan Fund. Your boy's gonna be pretty busy with that because I have a lot of stuff I need to sell on eBay. But in addition to that, I'm also gonna be focusing on school, which is my number one priority. Not only maintaining my good GPA, but exceeding that GPA. So my goal is to increase my 3.0 GPA, which I have now, to a 3.5 at the end of this semester. So when I transfer over to Lakeland, I have a nice high GPA. And if anything, it's just for my own personal satisfaction. You know, it's nice to meet and exceed goals that you have for yourself. And also right now I'm, you know, finishing up some paperwork for Lakeland University of Japan, sending in some stuff for my visa and other things. So your boy's gonna be pretty busy and that's just the way I like it. I like to keep myself occupied. But also a little bit of uh, personal news, even though this is kind of a bad camera angle to, uh, to share this news with, but uh, I noticed that I lost some weight over these past couple months. As of yesterday, weighed myself and I'm down to 245 pounds. So feeling pretty good about that. I know I still got a little a little more to, uh, to lose to really get down to where I wanna get down to, but I'm actually pretty close to where I was uh, when I left Japan initially. Uh, I think I was around like 235, 240 when I left. And uh, with all the walking and stuff I'm gonna be doing out in Japan, uh, I'm definitely gonna be uh, losing some more chubbage. You know, it definitely feels good to lose some weight because not gonna lie, about three to four months ago, I was closing in on 270 pounds and stuff was getting a little tight. Just been, you know, going outside, doing some walking, drinking water, getting rid of some extra sugar and stuff in my diet. Nothing too serious. Uh, so this has been like the easiest 25 pounds I've ever lost. And I plan on losing more, especially when I get out to Japan. So yeah, feeling pretty good about that. Speaking of Japan, last little bit I wanna to talk to you guys about before my camera battery dies, cause I see it flashing in the corner there. What type of content would you like to see from your boy, the Andy Sands Hamadeshta, once he gets out to Japan? Now, I have my own ideas 
also has some ideas for Andy Talks Japandi before I leave here. But I want to know what you guys want to see and have me talk about and things like that. My plan is to obviously share my experiences out in Japan, going to college as not only an American student, but an American student in his 30s because I don't really see a lot of the older folks who go out to college abroad talking about their experiences. Like the only ones who I, the only one who I really know, especially the one that did it in Japan, and you know, she's not like old, but uh, she is outside of college age, we'll say that, is Loretta from the Kamushi Chan channel when she got accepted for the MEX scholarship. I mean, I've been following Loretta for years and years now, but uh, I've been really paying attention to her um, like university videos she did when she was a graduate student out in Japan. And it really gave me a lot of encouragement to get my own self back to Japan and to talk about my experiences out there. So anyway, let me know in the comments down below in the boopity boops what type of quality Japan content you'd like to see from your boy. And with that said guys, this is the Andy San, signing for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.